my pretty sparklies, scrumptious, delicious tourists. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, what is happening? Oh, boo boo. Ah, so scrumptious. So sad. Your person's look, their feelings, your situation, the Empress. This is you. This is you in the tarot deck. This is Taurus energy, baby. They got you all over their aura, all over their life, all over their dreams. This is a rift in the versus them. We're assuming a rift is a separation. This is a separation, baby. The Wheel of Fortune. There's something feels very faded about this connection. You know, they, no matter what, this is, I keep saying this for some reason in the readings today. This, every single reading I did is like, I, it's saying, I love you no matter what. For some reason, nobody knows why. This person doesn't know why. You don't know why, but they love you no matter what. Because there's something faded about this. There's something deep. There's something inexplicable about this connection. The Wheel of Fortune. They love you and they celebrate you no matter what, too. The Three of Cups. A lot of Threes of Cups coming through today as well. So some of you may be, cel you know, some of you may be celebrating mm, a future with your babies as well if you choose to get back together again. Uh, let's see what happened here in the past in the the situation so uh, uh also Taurus, welcome to blue angel love tarot if you are new and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give a mommy a kiss i love you Taurus, so much uh we're opposite signs i screw your sun and rising i vibe with you though so so deep i've been manifesting Tauruses into my life so thank you for coming into my life my baby i am so grateful yeah, yeah, yeah. This person brought a lot of illusions and delusions into the connection. If it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone in between, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday. This is someone who came across, you know, they betrayed you, okay? The five of swords here at the bottom of the deck, for sure they betrayed you. This is somebody who came across as a, a little bit wishy-washy, not knowing what they want, and non-committal. So there's issues with just they didn't know what they wanted. I think they could have also led some kind of... It's like two extremes. I'm getting so, you know, take what resonates with these uh, general readings, but I'm getting either someone who's a party animal or who's like doing too much, like having a little too much fun, you know, or I'm getting somebody who was not having enough fun. So, you know, living a, a too, uh, the, the life was a little too harsh, you know, it's like a monkish kind of existence. Something here about that, you know, someone, someone being a little too sparse in how they live or being a little bit too, uh, too fun loving. Uh, Page of Swords, and they came into the connection with a lot of suspicions. They didn't believe in love when they came into the connection. They were, um, I'm going to be honest, they were raiding you. They were like, well, they were looking for faults because this person didn't want to commit. They wanted to remain committed to either the bad lifestyle they had or the too alone lifestyle, you know, like, um, could even be in a spiritual way. This person does a lot of spiritual practices, but they need a lot of, you know, their own space. So really, they tell themselves they're looking for a relationship. It's that situation. But really, they're maybe not really looking for a relationship because they're very happy by themselves. Uh, um, but, but they're not admitting that to themselves. So they were looking for a reason to find fault with you, baby. They have issues around that. Um, and Page of Wands, you came into this free and gorgeous and scrumptious, ready for love, ready for adventure, whatever comes your way. You weren't making assumptions about anything. You know, two pages, two people uh, in a new connection, you know, two new little bit boos, but you came with it with passion and fire and scrumptiousness and adventure. And this person came into it with criticism and nags and like, you know, just a bad attitude bit boo. Um, it was something about this person's history. They were burnt in love once. You know how it is. People like that exist. Um, Although I find that, uh, you know, that's like such a sad energy. You know, there, there's like that little bit out there in the world who they got burnt once in love and they just can't forget it and they can't, you know, it's like that one little, you know, got bit by a dog and hates dogs until they die. You know, it's kind of like that. They, they see love as like, oh, you know, that hurt me once before. So they're, they're, they always come in with a self-sabotage energy into love. And that five of swords here, you know, in the end, they betrayed you with their non-committalness. So this is someone who uh, could have been playing games with you a little bit. 
they could have been hot and cold, they could have ghosted you, or they could have left you on a red kind of a situation. And you just, you were like, well, I thought we were having fun. I gave it all I could. And then, you know, here you are being such a spoil sport because this person has issues. Like they were literally looking for faults. They were looking for faults. They were looking for problems. And now all they're looking for is you with this Empress energy. This Empress is searching for her true love for uh, her, in this card is her child, but you know, it, the, the truest of loves, you know, the, 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 the deepest of desires. This person is uh, walking around out there in the world, you know, they wanted to remain single because they weren't able to commit. And now they're looking to me like all they do is miss you, Big Bill. You're like a drug to them. They're seeking out this drug. They're missing you, Big Bill. Um, if it was a more established connection, baby, like a marriage of 20 years, dating for two years, dating for two months, you know, whatever the label was, I do see, I do actually see issues here around, like this person had like illusions, there's illusions here for this person. It could have been, you know, someone had a drug issue or somebody had like, again, that bad lifestyle issue. Yeah, they were like, they were, could have been like a midlife crisis that happened here too. The King of Wands clarifying the situation. Somebody wanted to be, you know, out there and party again after a break. You know, they had, uh, could have been a marriage with two children. Your children were involved. Uh, and there was a rift here also could have been around the pregnancy because uh, of the Empress here. And, you know, somebody wanted to feel young again and, or somebody wanted to prove to themselves they still could, you know, go out there and party and be uh, scrumptious. But it happened at the expense of the family or it happened at the expense of the other partner uh, because it wasn't like it wasn't in a nice way. There's something delusional about that person. I don't necessarily see cheating, but it could have happened. You know your story best. Always remember um, if, you know, if cheating comes up only if you have the receipts, only if you already know what happened. So, you know, it's somebody who just wanted to feel young again but it was in a delusional kind of way it wasn't like in a wholesome way at all um then you have the seven of pentacles they do see you as someone that they would like to work things out with but they're wondering what you're going to say about that they know their behavior was trash and they know that they miss you now more than ever uh they lost you and now they miss you the sun they want <laughs> they want to get clarity on the situation they want to heal the situation baby uh, and uh, the two of wands in terms of what to expect from them and their actions. There's somebody who's going to take a while to come through, but Bill, I'm not going to lie. They're going to take a while to come through. They're going to think about what they need to do. They may need to look into themselves for higher wisdom because uh, what happened here in the past was somebody acting without wisdom, and now the wisdom is really, really required. Uh, let's see. Let me clarify this and see what's coming in the uh, long term. Do you even want this person, though, Taurus? I, you know, I, I know they love you so much, but there's just... There's just an air of something to this person. I'm just not sure about today. All, um, all the readings were, and for your reading too, it's like the, uh, the the watchword for today, the watch phrase is, I love you no matter what. That came up in every one of the readings. And definitely this person loves you no matter what, but it's like, think for you, please, consider like do you love them no matter what because i see there's some that's some of cups i don't like this energy there's something infinitely like delusional about this person i don't know it's like delusions it's like they're kidding themselves about a lot of things or they could have been irresponsible when they should have been responsible and they could have been uh you know almost like too cold too collected too serious when they should have been fun loving and it they needed to lose you to understand how precious you are to them. Uh, in any case, they will be popping up, my baby. Probably in Gemini season, expect something. You got the magician here. There, it's going to be a pop-up. It's going to be unexpected, kind of out of the blue. Big surprise. Question is, do you love them no matter what? And should you love them no matter what? Uh, so this is what I have for you today, my baby Taurus. So let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video, because that really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Uh, do you like my new setup, baby? I just, I'm so happy I'm in my new apartment in Cyprus. I signed a lease for uh, a year and I'm just so excited. Um, 
the bell. Let me know. Uh, I love you, my baby. Stay sprinkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and maybe your girls protect you. Give me a kiss. I'm gonna kiss you, baby. Mm. <laughs>